Hi folks. Today we're going to have a look at the electricity questions from the National 5 Physics paper in 2017. So, let's make a start. Question number one, it says the rating plate on a food blender is shown. And we can see on the plate its model number that it is to work on the 230 volts AC mains at 50 hertz. And the power of the appliance is 290 watts. The square inside the square um, actually means it's what's called double insulated, which means it doesn't require an earth wire, although that's not important here. Part A. The plugs on all modern electrical appliances in the UK are fitted with fuses rated at either 3 amps or 13 amps. Draw the circuit symbol for a fuse. Well, the circuit symbol for a fuse is that rectangle with the line indicating the wire passing straight through the middle. Part two, state the purpose of the fuse fitted in the plug of an appliance. Well, the wire through the middle of the fuse is designed so that it melts when a particular current flows through it. So when it melts, that breaks the flow of current and stops any more current flowing. So it prevents the flow of too much current by melting and breaking the circuit. Part three, determine the rating of the fuse fitted in the plug of the blender. Justify your answer by calculation. So here's our uh, rating plate for the appliance. And as a general rule, anything above 700 watts or so, we would put a 13 amp fuse in, anything below that, we would put a three amp fuse. So I'm expecting to be using a three amp fuse. However, this question asks us to justify that answer by calculation. So what calculation can we do? Well, we want to know how much current will the fuse need to be allowed, need to be able to allow to pass. So we need to work out the current flowing. We have the power and the voltage. So we'll use the formula P equals IV. The power is 290, the voltage is 230. So the current is going to be 1.3 amps. Since 1.3 amps is less than a 3 amp fuse, that means a 3 amp fuse should be fitted. If the current required had been more than 3 amps, then a 3 amp fuse would be no use because it would have broken when the appliance was working normally. So above 3 amps, we would have needed a 13 amp fuse. Part B. The blender is connected to an alternating current AC supply. Explain in terms of electron flow what is meant by alternating current. Well, alternating current is where the electron flow is continually reversing direction. Question two. A student sets up the following circuit. The student closes switch one. Calculate the voltage across the motor. So here's the circuit. When switch one is closed, but switch two is open, that's almost as if the 35 ohm resistor doesn't exist. No current will be passing through that part of the circuit. So we can ignore that little section there. And effectively, we have now a series circuit containing a supply voltage of 12 volts, one resistor of 15 ohms and a second resistor, which is the motor, of 25 ohms. So the supply voltage will split between the two components. It's effectively a potential divider. So we can treat this as a potential divider to find out the voltage across the motor using the formula V2 equals R2 over R1 plus R2 times Vs. So 25 over 15 plus 25 times 12 which is 7.5 volts. Part two, calculate the power dissipated in the motor. So now that we know the power, uh, we know the voltage rather, and we know the resistance of the motor, we can work out the power using V squared divided by R. 7.5 squared divided by 25, which is a power of 2.25 watts. B. The student now also closes switch S2. Calculate the combined resistance of the two resistors. So when we've got the two resistors, both 
functioning on both as part of the circuit, they are now in parallel with each other. So to calculate the parallel resistance, the total parallel resistance, we use this formula. 1 over RT equals 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2. And we input those numbers into our formula. And when we do this on a calculator, we need to do 1 over 15 plus 1 over 35, which gives us a value of 2 over 21. We then need to un-1 over that, as it were, and get a final answer of 10.5 ohms. Part 2. State the effect that closing switch S2 has on the power dissipated in the motor. Well, hopefully we'll notice that that parallel section had a total resistance of smaller than one of the resistors on their own. And the effect that that has is it reduces the total resistance of the circuit. So the 15 ohm and the 35 ohm in parallel gave a resistance of 10 and a half ohms. So the total resistance of the circuit with S2 on has dropped from 40 ohms down to, um, down to uh, 35 and a half ohms. So the overall resistance of the circuit has decreased. The decrease in resistance will have caused more current to flow around the circuit and more current to flow through the motor. This increase in electric current will have made the motor spin faster and dissipate more power. And that, folks, is the final part of the electricity questions from the 2017 National Five paper. Hopefully that was helpful, and we'll be back another time to talk about some of the other work. See you later.